Medical school is like drinking from a fire hose every single day. It's overwhelming, but with the right strategy, it is manageable. Let me share the exact seven pass method that got me through some of the toughest years of my life at St. George's University School of Medicine. My journey in medicine started in Grenada, where I spent two years studying the basic sciences at SGU's True Blue Campus. The curriculum, imagine hundreds of slides every single day, back to back lectures and exams every four to six weeks. It was intense, but Grenada wasn't just about studying. The tropical environment was a perfect escape after exams and I made sure to balance hard work with moments of fun. Now the seven pass method was my secret weapon for mastering massive amounts of material. Here's how it worked. Pass one started in the lecture hall. First I download all the slides onto my Microsoft Surface Pro. Uh, I took live notes directly onto the slides written down with the digital pen and recorded audio as well live directly into the slide set. Professors would often add clarifications that turned out to be gold for exams later on. The second pass would happen after lunch. I'd hit the study hall to review everything while it was fresh on my mind. This pass was always about consolidating what I had heard earlier in the day. Pass three would happen in the evenings. These were for deep diving. I'd either review solo or attend one of SGU's amazing BES uh, sponsored small group sessions. The tutoring really, really helped. And later at home, I'd review quiz questions and material from previous days. I'd often take study breaks while playing guitar. Now, to really make the first three passes work, I followed a strict but balanced daily schedule. Let me walk you through what a typical day looked like for me. Between 6 and 7 a.m., I'd wake up and go on a morning run or hit the gym and do a treadmill-based workout with calisthenics and stretching. Between 7 and 8 a.m., it was breakfast and prep for lectures. From 8 to 12, I was in lecture doing pass one. From 12 to 1, I'd take a lunch break. Between 1 and 4 p.m., I was in the study hall doing pass 2. Between 4 and 5 p.m., I'd hit the gym, lifting weights or doing some other intense workout. Between 5 and 7, I was doing pass number 3 in those small groups or reviewing solo. Between 7 and 9 p.m., that was time for dinner and light study, usually prepping for deeper review, which would take place on the weekends. 9 to 10.30 was time for me to wind down, either with light review and practice questions and often playing guitar to have fun, which I love. 10.30 to 6 a.m. was sleep and I would always aim for seven to eight hours. And that's what gets me by. Now, every hour in my schedule was intentional, whether it was absorbing material, reinforcing it or decompressing. This schedule helped me stay consistent and avoid burnout, which is super important in medical school. Now, as exams got closer, weekends became intensive study marathons. Passes four and five were faster as I absorbed more information, and if any material needed catching up, the weekend was where that would happen for me. Finally, passes six and seven. These would happen during the final three or four days before exams. These passes were all about efficiency and precision. I would use old exam questions or quizzes to identify weak spots in my learning, then speed through material to ensure full understanding. By that stage, I could often recite the slide material without even reading it. That is the power of the seven passes. Method. Now, studying, of course, wasn't my only focus. Every day started with a run. That would help to clear my mind and get energized. And evenings, of course, would include heavy weightlifting or intense exercise to blow off steam and stay in shape. I'd often have to study with a study buddy at my house in the evenings. Um, now, that was excellent for learning, but also to socialize, which is important. And after exams, I would celebrate. Whether it was hitting the beach or hanging out with friends, I made exam day something to look forward to. Now let's talk about exam days. I would have one goal in mind, to stay sharp, and to do that, I would always start with a run, to wake up my brain and keep my nerves in check. By the time I sat down for the exam, I was alert and ready. The seven pass method gave me the confidence I needed to crush it. Now, medical school isn't easy, but with the right strategy and balance, it's doable. And if you're struggling to manage your workload, my seven pass method might work for you, and you should consider giving it a try. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with other people you think it might help. And if you're enjoying this channel, then definitely stick around. We're going to talk a lot more about medical school and study methods that I use to be successful. As always, guys, stay dynamic. Peace.